Thank you for viewing a special budget edition of Ryan Private Wealth Management newsletter. Last night, the Federal Treasurer handed down the budget, and unlike previous years, a large uh, amount of the budget hadn't been previously released. The <coughs> centrepiece of the budget for many clients will be the superannuation reform package, which the government believes will improve the flexibility, integrity, and sustainability of the superannuation system. A number of key contribution changes will take effect from 1 July 2017. The annual cap on concessional pre-tax superannuation contributions will reduce to $25,000 per year regardless of age. Those aged between 65 and 74 will be able to make superannuation contributions regardless of whether they work or not thereby getting rid of the current work test requirements. Tax deductions will also be able to be claimed for personal contributions, regardless of employment status. An important change that took effect last night, uh, budget night, is a superannuation cap of $500,000, which applies to all non-concessional contributions made on or after 1 July 2007. There is also a lifetime limit of $1.6 million that will be placed on the amount of superannuation that can be transferred to start pensions. Existing pensions that are above this amount will need to be reduced to this amount by 1 July 2017. Other changes include earnings on investments that are held in transition to retirement will be taxed at 15% which currently they are at 0% uh, tax. There will also be contributions tax of an additional 15% that will apply to people earning uh, greater than $250,000 per annum. Personal tax rates changed only at a very minor level. The income tax threshold at which 37% tax rate applies will increase to $87,000 on 1 July 16, um, from the current $80,000. Also, there were significant changes with regards to the small businesses and the small business tax rate. From 1 July 16, the tax rate will be 27.5% and this will apply for all businesses with turnover of $10 million or less. There will be further tax concessions that will apply in future years and ultimately the vision is for, or the plan is for the tax rate of 25% to apply to all companies. Importantly, there it's also what was not mentioned in the budget last night. Not mentioned in the budget, budget was negative gearing. The government has uh, uh, left this policy unchanged, which creates a point of difference to the proposals that are being presented by the opposition at this time. There were no changes to the age pension, and there were no changes to capital gains tax discounts. There were, of course, many other announcements that were made with regards to employment, education and health, but um, these won't be directly uh, impacting you from a financial planning perspective. It's important to note that these are proposals only and have not become law. Uh, this will need to pass through Parliament in order to be affected. Very interestingly, I'm sure that the government will be keen to push through this legislation, particularly for the tax cuts that take effect from 1 July 2016. It is my expectation that we will see a response from the opposition in the next couple of days, which is standard uh, uh, procedure, and then it is most likely I expect that the Prime Minister will visit the Governor-General on the weekend and we will formally be in election campaign mode from the weekend. Uh, finally, I'd just like to point out that it's pleasing that many clients uh, did take advice uh, and made non-concessional contributions before last night and as a result of this advice uh, they will benefit uh, uh, greatly. There will be impact on your uh, circumstances as a consequence of these quite considerable changes to superannuation 
and we will assess those and communicate what those, how you'll be impacted and the recommendations that are appropriate to your uh, personal circumstances when we conduct our reviews in the coming weeks and months. On a final note, uh, there was a, an interest rate reduction last night or yesterday. The interest rate for, on the RBA is now officially at 1.75%, um, which uh, many economists were forecasting as a consequence of the uh, inflation figures which were much lower than expected in recent weeks. Interestingly, um, a number of analysts are still forecasting that there will be another rate cut during the course of this year. Uh, this signifies that the Reserve Bank is seeing weakness in the, in the economy and it's a slightly different narrative to the one being presented by the government which is uh, confident that we are transitioning away from the dependence on the mining boom and the innovation economy is starting to um, uh, deliver growth for the Australian economy. I'll be monitoring this and giving you further updates um, on interest rate outlook uh, in future newsletters. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you soon.